Hello, this is Matt from PV, and I will be showing you how to get up and running with the new Viper Edit software for the Viper VIP 1, 2, and 3. The first step is to make sure that you have the latest firmware on your Viper VIP. When you load up the software, select Viper USB interface for the MIDI in and MIDI out. If you receive an error message stating that your firmware is out of date, visit the Viper page on PV.com to get the necessary update files. Once you have downloaded the files, you should have an application named Viper VIP Updater and an SYX file which contains the actual firmware. Load up the Viper VIP application and follow the prompts to set up the MIDI connection. When asked, select the firmware file and click open. The firmware update process can take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Be sure not to close the software or turn off the amplifier. After the firmware update is complete, Relaunch Viper Edit just as you did from the start. Viper Edit is basically a virtual representation of what is going on with your amp. Anything you do within the software will be directly shown on the amp, and anything you do on the amp will be represented in the software. In the gear window, you have access to instrument models, stomp box effects, amp models, and if you're using a Viper 2 or 3, you'll have access to the effects selection as well. Every VIP model has the same amplifiers, but offer different stomp boxes, instrument models, and effects. The Viper VIP 1 has access to only two instrument models, the acoustic guitar and the bass guitar. Within the stomp box selection field, you will notice that fuzz pedal is grayed out, as the fuzz pedal is not available on the VIP-1. While the Viper 2 and 3 have access to all of the instrument models, you will notice that many of the stomp box effects are grayed out. All of the grade pedals are offered as separate effects located next to the amplifier section. You may have noticed when using an acoustic guitar model or a bass guitar model that the amplifier selection is quite limited. This is due to a feature called Demo Mode, and by default, Demo Mode is on. In order to turn this off, simply go to the menu bar and select Demo Mode, and then hit Toggle. You will now have access to all of the amplifiers for each of the different instrument models available to you. One of the best features of Viper Edit is the ability to save, load, and share your presets that you design. Once you have configured all of the settings that you like, type in the name of your preset in the top right of the window next to Preset Name. Next, go to File, Save Preset. If you want to load a different preset, simply go to File, Open Preset. It's really just that simple. If 
you want to store a preset directly on the amp without the need of the Viper Edit software, load the desired preset and go to File, Write Preset to Amp. Each of the preset banks has four preset slots. The VIP 1 and 2 only have access to preset banks A through D, while the VIP 3 has access to all 104 banks listed. Also included with the Viper Edit software are eight different backing tracks located under the Jam tab. You can play along to these tracks with whatever settings you have created within the Gear tab. Hundreds more backing tracks can be purchased at guitarinstructor.com. The Learn tab includes video guitar lessons from Rockhouse, ranging from beginner to intermediate levels. If you're looking for more lessons, just visit rockhousemethod.com to check out some more.